These products come from farms and ranches, despite distance and season. As the world's population increased, so did the production and consumption of processed food. They are the result of a miraculous agriculture. And this was, for the most part, a good thing. But somewhere in the process, certain foods got a bad rap, especially among nutritional experts. Well, generally, their perception is that a canned product or processed product has had the nutrients destroyed. But could that just be a myth in a can? Could the opposite be true? That the vitamin C levels in the canned cling peaches were somewhat higher. Than Can a canned peach be just as nutritious, if not more so, as one picked right off the tree? Sure, yeah. That answer hung in the air like a ripened peach on the edge of a college campus in the Pacific Northwest, Oregon State University. And we're here to answer an ages old question. To can or not to can? The question that was asked was whether or not the nutritional characteristics of canned peaches were comparable to fresh peaches. The question was posed to an affable food scientist named Robert W. Durst. I can call you Bob. Thank you. <laughs> Bob works on campus inside a prestigious institute named for an OSU alumnus, Linus Pauling. Nobody's gonna recognize me, you know. I rarely wear a lab coat. <laughs> you like peaches, Bob? Yeah. Do you like canned peaches? Yeah. Good thing, because Bob spent a lot of his time researching peaches. First, he was interested in those things in peaches that naturally keep humans healthy. Well, there's vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin D, all the B vitamins. Ah, uh, yes, vitamins. In the early 1960s, a visionary scientist named Linus Pauling was looking at vitamins, or micronutrients, in food and how they keep us healthy. At the time, his research was considered a little kooky. Today, nutritional science is based on Pauling's work, and a prestigious institute bears his name. This is one section of the labs. This area here is the Healthy Aging Program. All right. Today, the institute furthers Pauling's research on micronutrients. The middle section here is the cardiovascular and metabolic diseases section, where we do the vitamins and minerals, nutrients. In this lofty lab is where Bob began to quantify the nutrients in fresh peaches before they were canned. Turns out many of those vitamins and certain micronutrients called carotenoids the compounds in peaches that turn the flesh uh, that yellow-orange color, and they're the same thing that's in carrots that make carrots orange. Are all antioxidants. Also, fresh peaches are chock full of folate, healthy folic acid, a.k.a. vitamin B9. Okay, a peach is full of all that good stuff. The vitamins, the antioxidants, the carotenoids, the folic acid, but what good is that if you process a peach, stuff it into a can, heat it, only to cook off all those healthy nutrients. Yeah, but Bob, you stick it in a can and it's not gonna be as healthy. Well, that's what we were trying to show, was that maybe it is just about as healthy as the fresh peach is, because there haven't been a lot of studies to demonstrate that. Well, to study just that, Bob marshaled all the resources of the Linus Pauling Institute. So in his study, Bob would compare the nutritional value of both fresh cling peaches and freestone peaches versus the nutritional value of canned cling peaches. We then started the various analyses. Bob put peach samples into a high-tech box called a chromatography machine. Here, Bob would break down the peaches, Pauling-like, into their molecular components in search of all those vitamins, carotenoids, folates, and so on. Would those healthy compounds show up in peaches after they were canned? So here we go. What did you find? So. <clears throat> Robert W. Durst's paper would make Pauline proud. 
The results were groundbreaking. The nutrition that we get from them seems to be well preserved in the canning process and the storage process so that the canned product is delivering the same kind of nutrition that the fresh product would. In fact, there were even higher levels of some nutrients in the canned fruit versus the fresh peaches. That the vitamin C levels in the canned plain peaches were somewhat higher than the vitamin C levels that we got out of the fresh freestones. Vitamin C was about three and a half times higher in the canned product than we found in the fresh product. Three and a half more times the vitamin C in canned peaches? Why? But it's almost certainly because of the processing that that canning process, the heat, it turns out that when you slice a peach at home, for instance, it releases an enzyme that attacks vitamin C. And that happens very, very quickly, minutes. But at the cannery, the heat process of canning denatures the enzyme so it's no longer active. Vitamin C is just one antioxidant. What about the others? And the other measure of antioxidants, which looks at all the antioxidant compounds, was about one and a half times greater in the canned product than it was in the fresh product. Wait, there's more. One of the most surprising ones was the folate, folic acid. But we found a 10 times greater, higher value for the folate concentration in the canned product versus the fresh product. Again, thanks to the heating process at the cannery. So, more of the essential nutrients, most of the vitamins, antioxidants, and folates were available in canned peaches than in the fresh freestones. Canned was better than fresh. Oh, for sure, yeah. And Bob also checked the cans after they sat on a shelf for three months. The result? Statistically, there was no change in nutrients. So truly shelf stable. Shelf stable. Which is the reason we can food in the first place, to put them on a shelf. After all, this one you can get three months out of the year, and this one you can get 12 months out of the year. So maybe grandma knew something about nutrition when she canned her fruits and vegetables. She was not only preserving some of the nutrients, she was enhancing them. School kids would only be able to pack fresh peaches in their lunch boxes a few weeks out of the year anyway, so that's why the federal government suggests servings of canned peaches for school lunch programs. And in the process, maybe an affable scientist named Bob, wearing shorts and a lab coat, put a dent in a myth about canned peaches. This is just as healthy and nutritious as this. That's what this study shows.